Hey everybody, welcome to another episode. My name's Garden Sound and this is Lila the Bird. And she's got feathers all over her. Let's take care of that. You got feathers all over you, silly bird. You got a couple more on you. Good bird. Okay, got those feathers off of her. <laughs> you gotta groom your bird, that's how you bond. I've got something I want to talk about today. It's been requested a lot. It's taken me a minute to get to it, so I apologize for everybody who's been subscribed with the uh, hope that I've been doing this episode sooner. So what I've got today is two different ways that I do sub glides. Um, this is this is a topic that has been requested a lot on the Ableton subreddit. So I'm going to be posting this in the Ableton and the Made with Ableton subreddit. So what we've got here um, is massive. Now you can use serum or whatever. And what I'm going to show you is two different ways that I make my sub do the or glide. Sometimes it's called a slide. Sometimes it's called transpose mod. Um, but I'm going to show you. So basically, what I've got here is uh, MIDI, and it's a, it's just a MIDI line uh, using Massive, just a typical trap beat, you know, going bon, do, 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 right? You know, something like that. So let's take a listen to it. It's just a sine wave with a couple of settings inside of Massive. Two ways to do this glide. You can either do it through the VST or through audio. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is freeze this track and uh, just take this, copy it, and paste it into the um, audio track down here so we can have a good, and I'm going to unfreeze it. Now we've got both. I'm going to deactivate my audio track so we can focus on the MIDI here. Or in inside of most synthesizers, you're going to find something on Massive. It's called um, Glide. On Serum, I believe it's also called Glide, although it might be called legato. There's a couple things it could be called. Portamento, legato, glide, slide, that sort of thing. Um, just depending on what synthesizer you're looking at. Um, so you can either make your notes different. Oh yeah, I guess there is actually, my bad, I guess there's actually three ways to do this. You can either do it with glide, um, turning this on so that it re-triggers um, using mono rotate on every single note that you change um, over time, you know, adjusting this time knob or you could actually use the transpose mod inside of the MIDI clip. But let's go over the glide function first. All right, so check this out. So what I wanna do is bum, woo, bum, so like an octave. Um, so let's, let's stick an octave up here. Why is it gliding? Like how does it know that it's supposed to glide there? And the, the answer is that setting we were just looking at. I'm going to go back to the MIDI so you can see both at the same time. And I'm going to adjust this time knob as it's going back and forth between these notes so you can hear the difference it makes. Here's less time. Here's more time. Okay, that's one way to do it. The other way you could do it is by putting this back to how it was just a minute ago and using the transposition modulation function. So I'm gonna set my glide back to how it was, like about right in the middle there. And I'm gonna change the up to, uh, let's change the up to 24. And let's change the down to 24 as well. So we can go plus or minus 24 semitones now using the transposition envelope inside of a clip in Ableton. So I'm gonna go back to the clip and open this up and press this button right there and look for MIDI and pitch bend. So check this out. I want to do the same thing here, but without changing any of the notes. So get it in the ballpark and then hit shift so you can get it exactly. There we go. Let's check this out. Same thing, different way to do it. We can even increase this if we want to. This is a little bit more fine control over things. Now, my favorite way to do it is this way. This is just by using audio, because I like to deal in audio clips. Twelve half steps. Yeah, that in my opinion not only sounds the best, and I've gone over this in another video, which is linked below, called Why Do I Do This? If you're wondering why I do this, why I actually flatten or freeze and then drag the audio down, there's a reason for that. It sounds better um, the way I process my basses, the way I process my subs. You can read all about that in the video down below and linked at the end of this video. 
In my opinion, this method of transposition is the most accurate and sounds the best. Let me know if this was helpful. This is a shorter video and uh, shout out to the Ableton communities on Reddit. Thank you for inspiring me to make this. Um, and uh, yeah, everybody have a blessed day. If you like this kind of content, hit the thumbs up, hit the subscribe button. I've got plenty of videos, usually two a week, um, as well as a live stream every Friday. And uh, it's, as always, Garden Sound and Lila the Bird. Y'all take care.